In my derivation videos, I make reference to five skills for derivations, and if you master these skills, derivations become quite automatic. The skills are show line breakdown, automatic moves, proof structure, contradiction generators, and show something nice. The last three are actually interchangeable, but in general, the first two you really need to figure out before you can move on to solving more difficult derivations. In this video, we'll focus on show line breakdown. Now, show line breakdown can actually occur at any point in your proof. So let's take a look at this first example. If I have show P and Q arrow bracket negation R or S arrow T close bracket, uh, pr let's pretend that this is say on line 10 of a derivation. It doesn't really matter because show lines can appear anywhere in your proof. The point is, whenever you have a show line that appears in your derivation, you immediately have to do the show line breakdown. And show line breakdown is an algorithm. It says, if you have a show line, check if the main connective is a conditional. If it is, assume the antecedent, then show the consequent. If not, you want to assume ID. Now, you just repeat this process over and over again. So whenever we have a show line, we check the main connective, and the main connective here is indeed a conditional. Uh, well, that means that we have an antecedent, and of course, we have a consequent. And it doesn't matter how complicated the antecedent or the consequent is, it, you just treat it as the antecedent and the consequent in their own. I actually highlighted too much here. Let me fix that. I'll just highlight the P and the Q. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do show line breakdown, which says that I immediately assume conditional. And by assuming the conditional, I just get P and Q. And my goal in a conditional derivation is to show that under the assumption of the conditional, the antecedent, then I can show the consequent. And if I succeed at showing the consequent, uh, I will succeed at showing the original conditional. But here I just wrote a new show line and I repeat my show line algorithm again. I check there is a negation R or S arrow T and that means that I want to show, uh, I want to show T follows from the assumption of negation R or S and I do another assume CD and then I do show of t. Now to finish, I check this new show line. What is the main connective of this show line? Where well, there isn't a main connective because it's actually an atomic. It doesn't really matter that it's an atomic. What matters is it's just not a conditional. So given that it's not a conditional, the algorithm for show line breakdown says I immediately assume id and I'm left with negation t. Now at this point, I would really want to start my proof, uh, well, I guess I'm pretending on line 10, but I start this section of the proof, let's say. And I can only use the available lines. And so my available lines are always your premises, if I had any, and also the lines that do not have shows on them. So here I can use line 11, 13, and 15, but I can't use 10, 12, and 14, because 10, 12, and 14 have an uncrossed off show on it. So these are not available lines, and now I have things to work with. That's what show line breakdown does. It gives you things to work with. So let's take a look at this next example. It doesn't really matter that it's super long. The trick to this is you just need to spend some time and spot the main connective. So always ask what the main connective of a show line is, and we take a look and we pair the brackets up. These brackets are here, this is here, this is here. Okay, that means that this is the only thing on the actual outer level, and that means that's the antecedent, and this entire thing is the consequent. So to do the breakdown, we just continue and we do what we just did. We get P arrow Q, and that's assume CD. And then we show the rest. And the rest is this big long thing, it's sort of annoying. R by conditional S, uh, arrow T or W. And then I get uh, arrow negation Q. Now, again, I just check what the main connective of this thing is, and I take a close look at the bracket pairing, and I realize this is the main connective. So now I can assume the antecedent, and the antecedent here is bracket R by conditional S, arrow T or W, and that's assume CD, and 5, I show the consequent, which is negation Q. I'll highlight this just to, oops, wrong highlight, just to uh, make it clear what um, I was doing with the same set of colors, and that's the uh, consequent there. Now that I have not Q, I can 
ask what the main connective of this is. Well, the main connective is actually the negation, which means it's not a conditional. So I immediately assume ID this. Now here, when you assume ID, if there's a negation on it already, you can actually add a negation or you can peel it off. That's an acceptable shortcut. So I'll just peel it off. And now I'm good to go. I have my available lines. Now, the nice thing about this, again, is because we just generated stuff, now I'm ready to do automatic moves. And you can see that, you know, there might be some automatic moves depending on the premises and so on. Uh, but this is just sort of a, a made up example, so there's actually nothing really to do. Okay, so one more just quick example here on the bottom. Uh, show Z and negation S or T arrow Q. So again, Take a second, try and break this down. We really want to always have the show line breakdown mastered. And we would say, let's just pretend this line one doesn't really matter. And how do we break this down? Show, Z, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, give it a shot. Well, if you've been trying, you probably did some fancy show line breakdown, but I just want to point one thing out. I hope most of you got this right. The first step is always to identify the main connective. What is the main connective of this thing? Well, it's this. It's the conjunction. And so given that it's the conjunction, it doesn't matter that there's a conditional later on. The main connective is the conjunction, which is not a conditional, which means we don't have any fancy show line breakdown. All we do is we go straight to assume ID. So the moral of this example is don't go hunting for conditionals when there aren't conditionals as the main connective. You always, always, always determine what you do based on what the main connective of your show line is. And so that's why spotting the main connective is the most important skill. So that's how you do show line breakdown. This last example is a bit silly. Uh, it's these top examples that really matter in terms of understanding that if it's conditional, you get to assume the antecedent, and then you just need to show the consequent no matter how big that consequent is. And whenever you have a new show line, you repeat until you get to an assume ID. Show line breakdown ends when you get to the assume ID, and that's when you know that you're ready to proceed to automatic moves.